Hello everyone. Today we are stepping to the very first question from coordinate geometry. I have chosen the topic equation of circle for our today's class. Let's start the lesson from a very simple question. As you see on the screen, we are supposed to find the equation of the circle if its center is at the point 3 comma 4 and its radius is 5 units. First of all, let me remind you the standard form of equation of circle. We write that as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square, where h and k represent the center of the circle with h as x component and k as y component and this r represent the radius in our question the value of h is given as 3 k is 4 and radius is five units. So if we replace the value of h, k and r in the standard equation of the circle, we can write it as x minus three in place of h and whole square plus y minus four in place of k whole square is equal to r square and in place of r we can write five square let's simplify this it now becomes x square minus six x plus nine from x minus three whole square and then plus y square minus eight y plus sixteen from y minus four whole square and is equal to twenty five. This all comes after breaking x minus three whole square and y minus four whole square and a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus two a b plus b square. Now we can write the above equation as x square minus six x plus y square minus eight y plus nine I've taken from left side near to the 16 and plus 16 already there from the above step is equal to 25. Further simplifying the equation we get x square plus let's write y square near to x square and minus 6y sorry 6x minus 8y and this 19 plus 16 will become 25 and let's take 25 from the right side to the left side that will be minus 25 changing its sign is equal to zero will remain on the right side. Now clearly you can see plus 25 and minus 25 means the same number with opposite sign which can be cancelled. And finally we can write x square plus y square minus 6x 
minus a to y is equal to zero as the required equation of the circuit. So this is the solution for today's problem. Isn't it simple? Please support sharing the content and channel among your friends. Thank you. See you in the next video.